What's going on YouTube? It's Owen with another Roblox Studio tutorial. Today I'm going to be telling you guys how to make it so when a player touches a part, it opens a GUI on their screen. Before this video gets started, you already know, if you find this video helpful or useful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. Now without further ado, let's get straight into this tutorial. So let's go to start a GUI and let's create our screen or our GUI in general. So enter a screen GUI insert a frame inside of your screen GUI and customize your GUI however you like. To have your GUI fully customized and whatever how you, how you like, uh, we're just gonna turn the visibility off of the frame. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna create our touch part or um, what the player is gonna be touching when they are, what the player is gonna be touching when the shop opens or GUI in general. So name the part open GUI part. So just resize this however you like or how big, how small you want it. Uh, I'm gonna just change the color to it. I'm gonna just make it like green. I'm gonna change the transparency a little bit so like I still can see it. Make sure you have your part anchored and turn can collide off. Make sure those two settings are correctly how they are that I just told you because if they not, it's not going to work as you want it to work. All right. So now once we got our part, we're going to go back inside the frame, insert a local script, copy and paste the code in the description down below. So once we copied and paste that, if you have your part, a different name. So let's just say if your part was named like open shop, um, you would rename this part open shop that if your part is named open GY part, like I mentioned in the video, please just leave the code as the same. So now once we're done with that, we're going to want to play test. Once we are inside of the game, you touch the part and it shows the GY on your screen. Now, however, I didn't add a close button, so let's just go on and add that close button real fast. And let's play test. Once we're in the game again, this is the final result. Touch the part, it opens the GUI, and then press the close button, it closes the GUI. Thank you for watching the end of this video. If you found this video helpful, consider leaving a like and subscribing. Thank you guys for watching.